Welcome back to my channel, everyone! <laughs> Today, it's gonna be a dyeing experiment. As you can see, I have my uh, dye pot with me. And uh, today's dye experiment will be with some old uh, blueberry jam I found in my fridge. Uh, I made this jam a few months ago, and sadly I saw some, uh, some mold in it. So um, instead of just chucking it out in the, um, in the compost, um, I wanted to try to extract some dye. I know that uh, berry dye is not very uh, light fat, light fast, uh, wash fast or whatever you, you call it. It's not a very fast dye, so it's gonna fade over time very quickly. Uh, but I still wanted to, oh, <laughs> I still wanted to, uh, to try it and uh, see what we get. I expect like a uh, reddish purple-ish hue, maybe a bluish purple? I expect some purple. <laughs> so let's try it out. So the, the, the water has been heating up a little bit. Oops, let's try not to be in the frame. The water has been uh, heating up a little bit. Let's chuck the jam in it. Hopefully sugar won't uh, affect anything. <laughs> we'll find out. Let's get all of this in. And rinse it. In, the, in here, it's only water. Probably a little bit of uh, alum, because I mortened, I, I mortented uh, some uh, sheep wool overnight. Uh, and I tried to rinse it, but uh, you know, I didn't do a great job. <laughs> I figured it wouldn't hurt anything. Uh, so here's my uh, sheep's wool. Uh, this is thin sheep, uh, finished sheep. And I just realized that the I just realized that the fan was on. <laughs> Sorry about the, the awful, uh, awful sound. So yeah, as I was saying, this is a uh, fin sheep, finished sheep. Uh, it's from a local uh, local farm from here. And uh, yeah, more than did overnight. I won't be using all of it because uh, I'm not sure I have enough dye stuff to dye the entire thing that I more did, but uh, we'll have some for other projects. Let's chuck this in. Oh, it's already already a little bit uh, purpley. <laughs> so hopefully we'll get great colors. This wool has been thoroughly washed from uh, the owner. Uh, it's it's washed so washed so well that um, I'll need to put some oil in it when uh, I, I want to brush it out because I tried some and it was so hard to brush because all the fibers were like it's not felted but it's too dry I feel so as you can see already taking on some color Try not to felt it, so I won't touch it too much. <laughs> I'll let this, uh, I'll let this uh, soak in there for a few hours, probably overnight, and uh, I will see you in a little bit. We're about three hours in. Let's check the, uh, if, uh, if we got any pigments in there. Um, I checked earlier and the water is very, very dark, so hopefully the, the, the pigments uh, started uh, striking the yarn. Let's check it out. So dark. <laughs> and uh, surprisingly, it doesn't smell like blueberry that much. Huh. So we got some purple. That's not very... Uh, doesn't strike that much. Um, I'll let it uh, let it steep for a little bit longer, I guess. It's only been three hours, so I shall be back in a few more hours. We are now two days later. Yeah, two days later, because I started this on Saturday, and we are now now uh, Monday morning. Uh, so I just woke up, parted my hair. <laughs> uh, let's. Look what we have now. I looked at it yesterday. The color is a bit better than it used to be. Uh, it's still not, uh, it's still a bit pastel. We have pink. <laughs> uh, not pink, uh, purple. Sorry. <laughs> still haven't had the color. 
I'll, I'll bring you closer and I'll show you what we have in the pot. Ooh, purple. <laughs> I squeeze it to see like the dried version. I still see that we still have quite a lot of color. I'm really happy. I will drain this and let it dry and I will, well, wash it as well <laughs> and uh, I will do a final reveal. And are you ready for final reveal? Purple! It turned out to be more like a bluish purple than a red purple. Uh, it was it was more like red purple when uh, when I got it out of the, the, the pot, but uh, it turned a bit blue, maybe like it oxidized a little bit, I don't know. But um, I'm really happy with the color. I know it won't last very long, I'll keep it out of sunlight and uh, hopefully it will, it will last a little longer. But uh, for now we have beautiful purple and uh, yeah. There are some spots that are uh, like more more towards the white and then some that are more towards the purple but uh, very happy with the with the color at least this time we can properly see the, <laughs> the color um, instead of like the, the slightly maybe yellow if you put white next to it <laughs> that I used to get with the other one so I think my uh, more denting was uh, and I drop it uh, everywhere uh, so I think my more denting uh, was a lot better than uh, I used to uh, I was speaking with someone and they, they told me that uh, to mordant you need to really really have um, super clean fibers instead of um, like I realized that when I wash my uh, raw fleece I maybe don't wash it quite good enough to mordant because um, it's still slightly oily when I spin I don't have to fight with it as much as this one this one is so dry that uh, I guess the mordant stuck to it a lot better so yeah, I think I'll go. I'll go with this way uh, of uh, more denting my fiber from uh, from now on. And uh, maybe I, I heard that um, if you use soda ash to wash the fiber, it's better after that to more dent. Uh, so I'll have to experiment with that. But uh, so far, really really happy with the result, and I will enjoy the color until it fades. <laughs> and uh, if you like this kind of uh, of uh, video, please uh, like and subscribe. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.